Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is the English translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Marana Qamaru Zama Sahib Dhamad Barakatuhum, which took place on Sunday, 2nd of Rabi'ul Akhir, 1446, 6th of October 2024. Our Hazrat Wala is saying that regarding this kitab, Hazrat Haji Imdadullah said, Ashraf Ali, translate this kitab. It will prove very beneficial for the people. Hazrat Tanvi then says that I was not deserving of that. I went for another purpose. But because this was the hukum of my sheikh and my peer, Hazrat Haji Saab, I then undertook this responsibility and started translating. This kitab now is mansub to Hazrat Tanvi. So here, yeah, the author in today's discussion is telling us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended to create need for this particular creations of His, whether they are from amongst the animal kingdom or whether they are from amongst insan and man. Now Allah ta'ala has done this so that it can be a means for him to be recognized or so that they recognize him. Do you not see that anna al-haja babun ilallah wa sababun yusiluka ilayhi that need is a door which leads you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is a means of making you reach him. Do you not understand that Allah Ta'ala has mentioned, Ya ayyuhan nasu antumul fuqara'u ila Allah, wallahu huwal ghaniyul hamid. O people, you are in need of Allah, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is most independent and all praise belongs to Him. So Allah Ta'ala has made need a means of a person reaching to him and so that a person can continuously be then in his court in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ Allahu samad Allah is independent this independence belongs only and solely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Everything and anything other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in need. Hazrat Haji Imdadullah rahimahullah, what did he say? He said, lift this blanket for me, lift this duvet for me, I cannot even do this. Now what was it? What was he trying to say? It was an expression of his need and his weakness that he could not even do that. He had to ask someone to help him to do it. Hazrat Manana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to come out after relieving himself and what he used to turn our attention to. He would say to us, Look, I the sandstones that I use to make istinja. Listen, I had this in my hand. I couldn't even hold it properly. It came out from my hand. I couldn't even pick this up. A small, simple thing as that. Apni kamzori ki istihzar. To keep in your mind your weakness. Your weakness. Qul huwallahu ahad. Allahu samad qul huwa Allahu ahad la juz alahu wa la juz'iyya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one he is alone he is unique So from here you will then be able to understand man arafa nafsahu arafa rabbahu that whoever recognizes himself with need with destitution, with poverty, with disgrace, with lowliness, then he would understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with izzat, with dominance, with power, with kindness. 
من عرف نفسه بحاجتها وفاقتها وافتقارها وذلها ومسكنتها عرف ربه بعزه وسلطانه وجوده وإحسانه إلى غير ذلك من أوصاف الكمال لا سيما هذا النوع من الآدمي specifically and especially more so this particular creation of his I mean mankind for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala karrara fihi asbab al-hajah has made in him the need he has multiplied it and made it manifold even much more and over and above the need that animals need Allah has made insan even more needy because he is muhtaj for his ma'ash and his ma'ad he is muhtaj in this dunya also to carry on and to do what he has to do regarding his livelihood but more than that in the akhirat as well when he goes to the next life from here also you will be able to understand laqad khalaqna al-insana fi kabad most definitely we have created insan in toil in difficulty there will always be something and something from amongst the matters of his dunya and the matters of his akhirah now it is because of how much of izzat insan has in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accordingly allah ta'ala has made him so much more dependent has put so much more need in him don't you ponder for a moment that insan is free from all these type of things these jackets uh, 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 sorry don't you see that haiwan and animals allah has made him quote, totally independent from this type of clothes jackets jerseys shawls etc and allah ta'ala has just they just need that place where they need to stay the birds need their nests that's it but more than that they need no clothing whereas allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made insan in need of all of that now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then decides to test this creation of his i mean mankind so allah ta'ala makes him in need of many many different things so that he could see that how will he make his way about in all of this will he just depend on his brain and his schemes or will he return the matter to allah and understand deeply what is the distribution that comes his way and what is the taqdeer of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the exam that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts insan and man through allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also intended that he becomes beloved to this creation of his insan this abd and the servant therefore allah then brings about upon him many many different things of poverty he brings upon him poverty and thereafter allah ta'ala removes the poverty allah puts on him need allah rim then removes those obstacles and those needs that he has and blesses him with fulfillment due to which the servant then finds sweetness within himself peace in his heart and all of this then leads to the renewal and rejuvenation of the love that he has for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned ahibbullah ahibbullah lima lima yaghdhukum bihi min ni'amihi love allah because of the sustenance that he gives you from his ni'mats 
his ni'mats, his sustenance, his ghiza. So every time the ni'mat comes, then there is tajdeed in the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On one occasion, we were gone for hajj. At that time, it was very, very cold. And one person came about with hot tea. When he, we drank that tea, it brought so much of comfort to us. Now look at this. Hazrat Wala is quoting this incident here to show us how Allah Ta'ala has created and made insan in need all the time. Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to quote the malfuz of a buzurg saying that he would say that when any person is being given a hadiyah, then he should at that time they make tajdeed. To Rab se naya ahd karta hai. He should renew his covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning what? He should make shukar. Yeah, that is coming from the hands of someone else to you. So at every given point, a person makes the deed and renew his covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, Hazrat Mawlana Abrarul Haqsab, especially in the Haramain and here as well, he would focus on this topic so much. He would go on to say that this eating is an ibadat. Look at that. Allah has made you so much in need. You need to eat. You're hungry. But it is an ibadat as well. He would go and you see these two points that I used to mention about Mawlana Abrarul Haq on this particular discussion. It's slipping my mind now. Our Hazrat Wala is saying. But an Arab alim came there in the Haram, in the Haramain, in the area, the Makkah and Medina there. And he said, but I knew this year, but I, I didn't understand it like how Hazrat Mawlana is explaining it here. So a person is so much in need, he's in hunger, he eats, and then what happens? He forgets. He forgets that he was so hungry and he ate. He forgets all of that. A person is so uncomfortable, he needs to relieve himself. He relieves himself and then he forgets. Allahu Akbar, just look at this kitab, Patlisi kitab, such a small kitab like this, Ashraf Ali. Iska tarjuma kar le. Ye to mufid sabit hogi. Nafa baksh sabit hogi. Nafa ho raha hai ke? He ke nahi? Our Hazrat Wala is saying, Tell me, are you people benefiting from this? Because this is what Haji Imdadullah said. Translate this kitab Ashraf Ali. It will be of great benefit to the people. But what to do? People don't even know about it. There's the shelf. There's the cabinet. Dawa taak mein rakka hua hai. Lekin pata hi nahi ke itni mufid dawa waha rakki hai. Haza Maulana Muhammad Ahmad sahab used to hardly eat. The doctors came to him and said, listen, you have to eat. Then you would feel better. This, that and the other. The doctors would leave. Haza Maulana used to say to us, tell me, can't they create within me hunger? Book. It is when I feel hungry, then I would eat, but I don't feel hungry. <coughs> so here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends that he be thanked. Therefore, he brings about need upon his servants. And thereafter, he fulfills that need. He removes that need from them so that Shukr can come into existence and so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that insan, so that insan can recognize Allah by his kindness and his goodness towards them. Allah explains this, Kulu mir rizqi rabbikum, eat from the sustenance of your Rabb, washkurula, and then thank him. Thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Baldatun tayyibatun. Makkah mukarrama is a clean, pure city. Warabbun ghafoor. 
and a most forgiving Rabb. Now tell me, shouldn't we remember this ayat so much more when we in Makkah Mukarrama? Elsewhere as well, but in Makkah Mukarrama, Kuru mir rizq rabbikum, eat from the rizq of your Rabb. Washkuru lah, make shukr to him. This is a pure city and a most forgiving Rabb. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates this need in man. Why does he create this need in man? So that they can talk and make munajat to him. So by creating need, Allah Ta'ala has opened for man the doors of munajat and secretly them talking to him. So every time they... They are in need of sustenance and ni'mats. They turn to him so that he may remove their difficulties. So then, what is actually that? They are blessed with munajat by talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making dua to him. And with all of that, they are blessed with the hibat, the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not drive them to such a point by means of need, then the minds of insan and the general masses would have not turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if it was not for this need, then the door of munajat would have not been opened except for the pious, the lovers of Allah and the saintly. So by bringing about need, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened the doors of munajat for one and all. And munajat wal munajatu wal munajatu sharfun azimun. وَالْمُنَاجَاتُ شَرْفٌ عَظِيمٌ اور مُنَاجَات بڑی بزرگی ہے مُنَاجَات is a great honor وَمَنْ صَبٌ مِنَ الْقَرَامَةِ جَسِيمٌ and it is a very high level of honor that you are talking to Allah فَصَارَ أَلَاتَ so that is it وَالْمُنَاجَاتُ شَرْفٌ عَظِيمٌ وَمَنْ صَبٌ مِنَ الْقَرَامَةِ جَسِيمٌ اور مناجات بری بزرگ کی ہے اور عزت کا برا رتبہ ہے Do you not understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed regarding Sayyidina Musa alayhi salatu was salam? We're talking about need that Allah has put upon man and insan. فَسَقَى لَهُمَا ثُمَّ تَوَلَّا إِلَى الظِّلْ So you know the waqiyah of Musa alayhi salatu was salam. He goes and he gives water to the two daughters of Shu'ayb alayhi salatu was salam and he waters for them their livestock. ثُمَّ تَوَلَّا إِلَى الظِّلْ then he turns around, he returns, he goes in the direction of the shade. And what does he say? Rabbi inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqeer. O oh Allah, O oh my Rabb, that which you have sent down to me from good, I am desperately in need of that. Faqeerun, I am desperately in need of it. Now here Hazrat Tanwi says that yes, as long as the need was there and he had to do what he had to do, he done it. But after that, unnecessarily tiring yourself in the blazing sun or for anything for that matter, that is futile. Rather, that is showing bravery and audacity in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Nabi of Allah came out from the sun and went into the shade. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala an says, What was he asking Allah for? Wallah, ma talaba illa khubzan ya'kulu. I take a qasam in the name of Allah. He asked Allah for nothing other than that of roti, a piece of bread. A piece of bread.
So here we're speaking about rizq. The dua of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allahumma inni as'aluka rizqan tayyiba wa ilman nafi'a wa amalam mutakabbala. Oh Allah, I ask you for pure sustenance, for beneficial knowledge and for accepted deeds. So here in this particular dua, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches us to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for pure sustenance first. So the Anbiya, the Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are the most perfect when it comes to abdiyat and servitude and being a true servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَقَامِلْ abd هُوَا كَرْتَهِ Therefore, he asked Allah for roti and for bread. What was all this about? That was the limits and the heights of the abdiyat of Musa alayhi salatu was salam. Allahumma inni dhalilun fa'izzani. Oh Allah, I am destitute. I am disgraced. Allahumma inni dhalilun. Oh Allah, I am disgraced. Therefore grant me honor. Allahumma inni faqeerun. Oh Allah, I am destitute. Therefore grant me rizq. But Allah is that zat. You can ask from him roti and you can ask from him empire, sultanate. You can ask him for the riches of the world and you can ask him for something as basic as bread. You can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for empire and the riches of the world and you can ask him for something as basic as salt. Hazrat Shah Abdul Aziz has written this year under the tafsir of Iya ka na'budu wa Iya ka nasta'in. You alone do we worship and you alone do we ask for help. You alone do we ask for help. You are that zat. Only that zat that can grant whatever we ask for. Others we ask but they cannot give us some things. They can give us the other. They can give us the other and then they can't give us this. That's how it goes with insan. They are not capable of both. They are not capable of both. So, Musa alayhi salatu was salam reached such a level that, that, what can we say? He became lean. He became thin. He was eating the leaves, the greenery of which could actually uh, be perceived from his skin. This was his halat. This is how weak he had become, etc. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of making amal on these talimat. What talimat is this? Khalis imani. It is teaching us nothing other than that of iman, yaqeen, and Tawheed, Khalis Imani Talimat hai. Rabbana, taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'u al-alim. Wa tub alayna innaka anta tawabu al-rahim. Bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil kareem. Sallallahu alayhi wa